Hey everybody, welcome to Froggy Stocks. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not financial advisors for entertainment purposes only. Figured it out. Figured out what happened with HYMC, why we're seeing the gap fill, which I believe is going to retrace well back above $3. Um, and I also don't think we've even hit our natural organic price that we should be sitting at with Highcroft yet. And it's all based <clears throat> on FTDs. Price action is moving perfectly with failures to deliver created or covered. So if we go, let's say back to February 22nd on the chart, March, let's see, February 22nd, FTD started, started to accumulate a little bit, right? February 22nd, right here. 32,000, 31,000, they covered them. And then unusual whales around this time dropped their unusual options chain uh, flow, right? So March 3rd, blah, 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 blah. March 3rd, 28 cents. Um, Some stuff started popping here, which was more likely AMC and Sprott putting money in. Failure to deliver started to rack up. So now we're March 3rd, 7th, 8th, all the way up to the 14th, hitting 11.5 million FTDs, right? Which the T plus 35 date for those was April 18th. This is the spike that we saw here, not to mention it's, it's because Sprout and AMC and all them, everybody brought, bought in and then uh, retail investors started coming in. I'm sorry, Unusual started pointing it out around like 89 cents, this area here right? So we had that big spike, all these failures, boom, 315, 314. We had uh, 6.135 million FTDs. So half of the 11 million was covered. We had that big candle right there, boom. Then we kind of trickled off. The news came out uh, about Sprott and AMC and Highcroft. Retail started jumping in. Boom, 328. FTDs were being covered. 11 million, 6 million, 4, 4, then down to less than 500,000, back down to 34,000 on 322. Where's 322? 322, right there. Decent little candle there. Even though it's red, it's, it's a daily chart, so it was a little pump up. Bing, bong, 325, massive spike to three, that says 310, but we actually hit 342. On that day, which is 28th, 29th, and the 30th, 28th and 29th were the last days of the week, I think. Let's go there. So nothing, couple failures here. 329, 89,000. 330, 764,000. 331, 2.3 million FTDs, all above the $2.32 price range right here, right? Well, then that's what I'm saying. This candle's wrong on the daily. It's actually, uh, it should be 342. So right here, big time failures added to the chart. Now, what happened after that? We had a massive, massive April 14th call option we, were, we come back down into our normal trend, which we did just like this on the last run. April 14th, call options were huge. Like over 111K call options out to 750, the majority at uh, uh, 250 and four bucks. Should have spiked, should have ran. Failures to delivers were happening all through this down channel right here, just like they were here. Instead of covering them for the next run up, probably to four bucks, they decided not to cover them and create more shorting with the downturn of the market. The calls landed out of the money because Citadel, <clears throat> Susquehanna, and Virtue, who pay the payment for order flow fees to get the order flow, did exactly that. They bought all the trades, they bought the options chain, they front ran it, then they manipulated it through dark pools <clears throat> excuse me, to crush uh, the calls on the 14th. And since then, we had those massive failures. 
We had the call options get blown out. Not a lot of people exercised. We had this massive drain of buying pressure from the stock. But check this out. We were at 2.36 million FTDs the last time we were running like this was around this time, 311, when we hit close to 12 million FTDs. And as they covered, boom, we had our run. So what's going to happen here? They're trying to shake paper hands out. They're playing the downturn of the market. Susquehanna and Citadel are both short HYMC with white box advisors who are all also short AMC. That's who the enemy is. The failures to delivers in the options chain are what's causing the price action. I will tell everybody again right now, no options may. You guys, if you're playing options on HYMC, you are giving a crystal ball to Citadel, Susquehanna, and Virtue to front run the trade. If you're playing options at all right now and you're an ape, I will tell you right now that you are directly funding payment for order flow and you are uh, incentivizing bad broker behavior. I know you like to play options. I know I, you make money, all that. But if you're going to ape and you want to see these guys go out of business, own raw stock. Stop buying options. The, the majority of payment for order flow money, which was like $3.6 billion last year, the majority of it was for options. Guys, think about it. The only way they beat us on the 14th was because of the call options chain getting blown out. That's it. If they, if they wouldn't have had that, this wouldn't have happened. They would have had to rack up a couple more FTDs and we would have shot off to our $4 range. So you guys play it how you want. That's just my opinion, though. The FTDs line up perfectly with spikes at almost a T plus 15 day level. Because as they were due, when was this run here? This was 328. And this one was 315. So it's almost like they're specifically waiting for the T plus 35 to cover unless they don't need to because they blow the options chain out and they create a massive liquidity to push the stock down further by shorting. So you guys really need to really need to think about it, man. Buying raw stock right now is absolutely the perfect thing to do. Don't fund payment for order flow by buying options on these things. Don't let them, the, the most important part of payment for order flow is Citadel, Susquehanna and Virtue get all the data before anybody else does and they can process it as they will. Poor execution, front running trades. So my prediction coming up, is that past this March 31st date, you're gonna see an increase in FTDs like you did here, except on a much, much higher level because the price is much, much higher. We went to 342. There's gonna be a ton of FTDs between 250 and 342, which was causing this downward price action. And then the calls getting blown out by front running trades by Citadel and Susquehanna being market makers using payment for order flow. Now we've retraced, gap down, back to this price range, which I really hope is our bottom. If not, I'm still going to buy more because I believe in this company big time. If we go back and see maybe a buck 10, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think a dollar 30 is probably a good support line that we've had in the past. So let's see. <clears throat> when are the March 31st FTDs due? May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. I do also believe this is at the same time that the, um, is it June or May? Earnings, I think AMC earnings is at this time too. So not only do you have T plus 35 on May 5th, you've got AMC earnings, and I'm not sure or not if GameStop is having their shareholder meeting, but it's all lining up perfectly. So I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna keep buying through this dip as much as I can, because I think, the first couple of weeks of May are going to be absolute fire. Anyways, thank you for watching this. Please share this. Understand what FTDs are. Understand how it affects chart and price movement. It's completely freaking stupid that this is even allowed to happen. But stay strong. I'm going to buy the dip continuously all the way up until I see a buck 60. Then I'm going to stop buying and just enjoy the run. You guys have a great week. Melvin Capital is going out of business. Everything else is red. Netflix is down. Facebook is down in the dumpster. Musk bought Twitter. Freaking hell yes. I love it. I can't wait till all the bots are gone. Um, and if you could, please like and subscribe. The channel is really going, growing. I really appreciate you guys. 
and I will not monetize uh, once I get to the thousand followers. I've always said this is going to be a free channel no matter what. I don't believe in paying for paid subs, super chats, or any of that because you guys should be using that money to buy raw shares of the stock. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Froggy Stonks out.